So if I was the benevolent dictator of South Africa, I would uh, obviously eliminate corruption because that would save a lot of money. I would I would stop a lot of wasteful spending and I would put it to education because I do think that is the only thing that can save us. And I've thought about this a lot. I, I think that the, 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 the most important thing with education is starting young. So if, if, I, if I had very limited resources, I would take let's say 25 years to fix the problem and I'd go year by year starting with three-year-olds um, and then the next year the four-year-olds and da 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 um, I'd prefer a quicker approach would be to start at third year undergrad and three-year-olds and work to the middle so take half the time but the problem really starts when you're young because you know this, this research out recently 80 something percent of grade 4 South Africans can't read properly well how do we expect them to learn anything else if they can't read you know, reading is, 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 is a key to the door or the door of knowledge at the risk of sounding cheesy and if you don't have the key you can't get the knowledge and so it, you can fix all the universities as much as you like but if you can't address that underlying issue there's, there's no point I would change what we learn um, you know, a much uh, higher focus on those uniquely human skills. Um, I saw a tweet the other day that said something like, um, you know, I, I, I know what ionic bonding is, but I still can't complete my tax return. And in terms of life skills, you know, understanding chemistry is, is you know, valuable in some regards, but being able to understand economics and accounts is so much more practically applicable and the job of education is not filling a brain with facts it's readying people for life not necessarily work but life yeah. and so you've got to teach them how to learn and you have a you know it's seen 12 years of education these days it's 15 sometimes 20 years it seems like a lot of time it's actually very little time and so you know I have issues with certain things that we teach purely because it has to, by definition, come at the expense of something else. And frankly, I would like to teach kids less in general. I would like to kids to play more and explore the world more, start their own businesses. And if you want to put time into that, you have to take it away from something else. Yeah, um, yeah uh, I think yeah, choosing what we learn and how we learn it and, and making sure that people, when they move from one stage of, of their academic career, whether it's grade four to five or, or whatever it may be, that they have the knowledge at that level to move forward. I'd much rather have a 20-year-old in a class of eight-year-olds because we have the discipline to not just push people ahead because you're just compounding the problem. Yeah. It's a like compound interest working against you. So yeah, that's, that's what I'd fix. I'd focus again on those uniquely human skills um, and entrepreneurship and, and also confidence.